Welcome back. Well, when you're stuck inside because of the cold or the snow, it is nice to have a good book to curl up with. Yeah, Lori Fazio from RJ Julia Booksellers is here telling us some of her favorite books this month. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you both. Thank yes, you. nice to see you too. So we're coming up on a very important holiday. Absolutely. And do you, are any of these holiday themed? Uh, not holiday themed, but great gifts, for these sure. These are great gifts. That's Absolutely. what I love. And it's, All books it's are. fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And they're easy to, I like, books are easy to wrap. They're easy to ship. And we, you can do it, you can call you and you'll do it for you us. You can call, you can go online, yeah. you can stop in. Yes, we'll do whatever you want. Awesome. All, All right. right. Some books that are of We're note. We're going to start with uh, The Water Dancer. So ta Coates is um, quickly becoming one of the most important writers of our time. Really? Uh, in 2015, he won the National Book Award for his book, Between the World and Me, which was a letter to his son about growing up as a black man in this day and age and some history behind it and what it takes to do that. Water Dancer is his first fictional book. And we have an event with him Wednesday night. It's about um, slavery and, you know, the, the main character, you know, is trying to get out and he, hearing him speak will be something that you will never forget. He's coming to RJ Julia Wednesday. He's, he'll be at the Schubert. Oh, the Schubert. That's how okay. big the event is going wow. to be. Okay, wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm good to know. Yeah. Right. So Marley, um, anyone who likes A Christmas Carol, Marley, Jacob Marley was Ebenezer Scrooge's partner. Yeah. yeah. And Marley was the first um, ghost that came to him in chains. And yeah. So this is the book about Marley, gr Jacob Marley's life growing up. And you get a lot of Scrooge's past before The Christmas Carol. Fans of A Christmas Carol, anyone who likes a really good I book. I have goosebumps. Yeah. That sounds awesome. Awesome. It's, oh, it's look, amazing. A Christmas present for Scott. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I'd Wrap it up. That. Yeah. All right, there you yeah, go. I always have to take note on the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Great Pretender. So in 1973, a um, charismatic um, doctor convinced eight people, this is a true story, eight people to get themselves committed to a psychiatric ward. Then they had to be able to pr prove themselves sane to get out. Changed the way that, you know, people look at psychiatric wards and, you know, what it takes to you know, make it in there that is and make it out. This is a true story? True story. Wow. wow. Fascinating book. Okay. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, we're going to move some fun now, some kids' books. So The Book Wanderers takes place in a bookstore. What better place to be than in a bookstore? I'm nowhere out of the better place to um, be. There's a male character, a female character, so it's good for boys and girls ages 8 to 12. There's adventure, there's excitement, there's magic. You know, fans of Chris Colfer's um, The Land of Stories will like this book. It's just fun. It's yeah, sweet. Yeah, it's a great, great nice. fun book. Yeah. The Book okay. Wanderers, I love it. Then we have um, the, Chris, the Crayons Christmas. So the, the Day the Crayons Quit is one of our favorite picture books at the store. The Day the Crayons Quit. Oh, uh, yes. It is so fun. Or as Kara calls them, crayons. That's how I... Crayons. Crayons is how you can say it. <laughs> crayons, crayons. Whatever, whatever you like, they quit. The Day the Crayons Quit. <laughs> <laughs> they quit. Okay. That was an older book, and there's been two books since then. This is their Christmas story. The, you, you see these crayons, you see the expressions on their faces in the illustrations. Oh, that's awesome. It's a lot of fun. And we're having Esteban, the green crayon, come next Saturday for an event. So bring your kids, bring your cameras. Oh, look at the little <laughs> illustrations on the faces of the crayons. Oh. And there's a, that's a very interactive book. There's letters in there from the crayons' parents. Oh, it's, this it's is a lot fantastic. Of fun. Oh, that's I so great. It. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And waxy, November but... is Picture Book Month, National Picture Book Month. So there's so many great picture books that have wonderful messages for kids. I chose to bring um, this one, The Greatest Table, you know, with Thanksgiving, you know, right around the corner. Um, this book, I think with all the ups and downs and all the, the negativity going on in our world, this reminds us that your table could be for one person, two people, ten people. You're never eating alone. You should appreciate what you have, acceptance, kindness. It's, it's a great message for kids. It's a great message for families. Read it to your kids. I hope the adults take some lessons away from it as well. We have 30 seconds. How are the bushes? They were wonderful. They, so we just had the Clintons. And then we had the Bushes. So it was like back to back. It was wonderful. They were both fabulous. It was the Bush sisters because they came out with a new book about being sisters. Yeah, it's called Sisters First. They were wonderful. The crowd loved them. Great. Nice. Yeah. Thanks, Lori. Thank you. It was a pleasure. You'll find all those books and so many more at RJ Booksellers located on Boston Post Road in Madison and also on Main Street in Middletown. Go to the website rjjulia.com for more. All right.